You've always wanted to know if lightning and thunderstorms are affected by the sun. We are with Yoav from the IDC in Israel and is a specialist of cloud physics and lightning. So Yoav, what is lightning? It is really fun to watch, I mean, but how does it work exactly? Well, lightning is a giant electrical spark that discharges huge amount of electricity either inside the clouds or from the clouds to the ground. They are very dangerous, very fast, and of course, beautiful to watch. And actually, uh, you know that uh, the current that flows in the lightning can reach up to 30,000, maybe even 50,000 amperes. And this amount of electricity can light your house for several years. Okay, but how does this electrical charge form? I mean, how can clouds produce electricity? Well, you know the shape of thunder clouds, that they are evolving and they become, they look like a giant uh, mushroom thunder cloud. Uh, and, and inside those clouds, you have trillions and trillions of collisions between different phases of ice, graupel, hail, and snow particles, and they collide each other. So uh, when they collide with each other, they, what we call, do charge separation. And this creates the movement of positive charge up and negative charge down. And so, in essence, thunder clouds are like giant batteries. Exactly. They are huge batteries. But the accumulated charge inside, between the plus and the minus, is like uh, you take your 1.5 volt battery from your MP3 player, but you have a million of those batteries inside the thunder cloud. So plus up, minus down, and then uh, you get this huge electric field that builds up within the cloud, so the air cannot hold it anymore, and then you get this uh, immediate separation of charge and lightning occurs. And actually it's so efficient that within thunder clouds we have approximately 50 flashes each second somewhere around our planet. So clearly the sun is playing a major part in providing the meteorological conditions needed for thunderstorm and lightning, but is there another aspect to this connection? Yes, well, it's quite complex. As you said, meteorological uh, conditions are quite easy to understand. The sun for warms the, uh, and heated the earth and then you get uh, convection. But there is another uh, mysterious process because we don't know how the spark really starts and the sun plays a role in this. What do you mean exactly? Well, as I said, we don't know exactly uh, how this lightning begins. There is a theory that says that uh, this ignition process, after the electric field is built, uh, starts from cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are energetic particles coming from all over, and they are accelerated within the thundercloud. And when you reach this voltage, they can do this avalanche of electrons that starts the, the lightning. So uh, this is what we think uh, happens. And as you know, the sun modulates cosmic ray fluxes. So in essence, it can uh, affect the ignition rate of lightning formation within thunderclouds. And because the sun affects these cosmic rays, then it influences lightning. Yeah, exactly. So this is uh, one theory and it's quite complex. Actually two opposing or maybe slightly different mechanism. One that uh, the sun enhances meteorological condition for lightning formation. And the other is that the sun inhibits the cosmic ray flux and so lowers the amount of ignition events. So this is still uh, a question for research. Yeah, in any case, lightning is really fun to see and watch. Yeah, lightning is the most, one of the most beautiful phenomena in nature. I like watching it uh, because, you know, as you French guys say, uh, it's a coup de foudre. You fall in love immediately when you see lightning. Well, thank you, Johav. Thank you, Laura.